Since October 2020 in Rwanda, there have been 24 volunteers from the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. They help in teaching French in 22 schools across the country, while also training teachers who already teach the language. The Secretary General of the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, Louise Mushikiwawo, says the program has already yielded results, which is why the organization has decided to continue with it. The group signed an agreement with Rwanda on Thursday, May 27th, to strengthen the partnership. Louise Mushikiwa will also say that the Francophonie organization already has programs in various authorities in different countries of which Rwanda will also benefit from. We have requests from different countries seeking for our assistance in teaching French to their tour guides, like in Asian countries, for example, like Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, as they are among countries which are advanced in the tourism sector but are disadvantaged in French. We have a project of teaching French across the world, as we also teach it to the UN soldiers. All these are programs in our vision plan, as we aim to promote literacy in French. Rwanda's Minister of State in charge of primary and secondary education at the Ministry of Education, Honorable Gaspar Twagirayezu, says Rwanda is ready to welcome this partnership to promote the teaching of French in schools. As of recent, we signed an agreement between the Francophonie organization and the Ministry of Education. The agreement included promoting the teaching of French in schools, as this program is aimed to add more value to French and find ways to solve various issues around it. As OEF volunteers who have been assisting in teaching French in Rwanda review their achievements over the last six months, a competition of writing and reading French was prepared for high school students. The top eight students who won are the ones who competed in the final round on Saturday. A student by the name of Tona Krista from Ecole des Sciences Biemana won first place. As she was filled with happy emotions, she had a few words to tell her peers. <laughs> As the youth, we have to use our talents as we focus in our studies because you never know where life could land you. You might be studying biology, physics, chemistry and others, but it is as important to study languages because you may one day be a doctor in another country and fail to communicate with your patients, which is why it is important to know different languages. <laughs> The competition, which concluded earlier today, began in April this year with 723 students from 21 schools. The Secretary General of OIF, Louise Mushikiwawo, says that this program will continue in other countries.